Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 906. And if you want to download this workbook 905 to 906, click on the link below the video. Wow, this video is about one thing an awesome keyboard shortcut. Shamuel Alua at Facebook said the keyboard shortcut for jumping to the active cell is control backspace. Now, just right off the bat, a great use is if you're scrolling way down and you're like lost and you want to just jump back. To the active cell that means that cell is selected control backspace it works in formulas and let me show you an example so I want to sum with one criterion I have this huge data set and notice I'm not copying this formula so I don't need to lock so I'm going to say equals sum if now the range with all the criteria is this group so I click there and control shift down arrow now here's what I usually do I usually hit the F4 key to jump back and then I go F4 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 to toggle back to relative cell reference because I don't need a absolute. But let me click Escape and do this again. Control Shift down arrow and now it's Control Backspace. So that keyboard shortcut works whether you're in the cells or doing a formula. And then my criteria is right there, comma, and the sum range. Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace, Control Enter. If you're doing it for a lookup, so I want to do like V lookup and look up this transaction. So I'm going to say one cell to the left, that's left arrow, comma, table array, highlight there, and control shift down arrow. No, I don't need it locked, so just control backspace. Man, I love that. Comma four, because the units are in the fourth column. And that column is sorted, so I'm going to use approximate match because it is faster. Shamuel at Facebook totally awesome control backspace see you next video